Welcome to part two of finger knitting. In this lesson, I'll show you how to do the second row. I'm just getting the first row started quickly here. If you're not sure how to do it, please see my other video, Finger Knitting for Beginners. The second row is definitely the most difficult part of a project. It gets a little messy, so take your time with it. It may take more than one try. Knit your first row very loosely. You're going to need a lot of wiggle room. This style of finger knitting is actually crochet, spelled C-R-O-C-H-E-T. If you wanted, you could go to Joanne, Michaels, even Walmart and pick up a crochet hook. There are a variety of sizes and you can do a variety of projects. In this lesson, we will only be working on single crochet. Once your first row is the width or length required, you are going to do one more chain, which will step up to the second row. Once you've gone up a step, turn your project. This is where it gets fun. Normally in crochet, you would be working through the back of the loop. However, I have found for finger knitting that it is a lot easier to go through the top of the loop and it tends to look better. You are going to go through this first loop or space here. Loop your yarn over your finger and pull the old loop over the new loop. Then loop the yarn over your finger again and pull the remaining loops over this new loop. You have now completed your first single crochet. I'll be doing some lessons on crochet in the future. It's easier to learn these techniques with a hook first. So feel free to subscribe if you think that is something you might find beneficial. You can pull the yarn on the right a little tighter to give you more room on the left. After a while you'll start to get an eye for where your next loop is. If you're planning a big project, I would recommend practicing this a few times before starting your actual project.
you should have something that looks a bit like this. If you're ready to start the third row, make one stitch to step up and turn your project. Things start to get easier from here, the loops are more visible and everything should fit fairly well. There is basically two different loops you can choose to start from, which will give you slightly different looks. I'm going to show you the easier of the two. Go through this first loop. Make a new loop over your finger and pull the old loop, which will now be a pair, over the new loop. Make another new loop and pull the remaining two loops over this new loop. Repeat until the end of the row. Make your single stitch to step up to the fourth row and turn your project. Find your first loop and away you go again.
Repeat this process until you're happy with how many rows you've done. When you've finished your project, you can just cut the tail of your yarn and pull it through. Thanks for watching and have a hobby day.